What's poppin' Conroe High? High? Today is September 19, 2018. I'm Juan. And I'm David. On today's show, we will have Coach Cobb as our special guest and news about the UFC fighter, Conor McGregor. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned for today's episode of Total Recap. Juan, could you imagine riding a bike at 180 miles an hour? No, sir. Me neither, but this past Sunday, Denise Mueller Cornick did just that. Actually, she rode the bike at 183.93 miles an hour. The way she did it was pretty simple. She has a specially equipped bike with a massive gear that, and it was tethered to a race car. The race car accelerated to 100 plus miles an hour to which Denise unlatched the bike from the car and she began, began to pedal the bike following the race car slipstream, getting herself to the speed of about 180 miles an hour, 184 miles an hour. This whole thing took about five miles to complete. Denise and her driver, Shay Holbrook, already held the record for the fastest female motor pace at time at 147 miles an hour, but it looks like they easily beat that record. UFC superstar Conor McGregor insists that the UFC 229 makes his press conference, which has a right now close to the public open. In the midst of Conor's huge attention grabber, he's gotten way more fans than his opponent. Their appearance in New York and Radio City Music Hall should be very interesting, an event declared by UFC promoters which will include fa a face un unopposed to the public and only invite fans to a viewing party in Times Square. McGregor is um, fond of fa falling rules so he tweeted the press conference was open to the public anyway. With the two division champion holding his head above all, he remains confident in obliterating anyone who steps in front of him. Stay tuned for our special interview with our special guest right after this commercial. can achieve anything. We make sure they get to college. Federal student aid provides more than $150 billion in grants, loans, and work-study funds to make college possible for anyone with the mind to get there. Because if given the chance, minds will do great things. Federal Student Aid, proud sponsor of the American Mind. Learn more about money for college at studentaid.gov. We want to welcome today's guest, Coach Cobb. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, guys. As, a, as an assistant coach, what exactly do you do and what do you coach? Well, I'm the assistant head football coach, and I'm also the strength conditioning coach for the team. And then I predominantly work on the offensive side with the offensive line. And what are your expectations and requirements for your players? Well, uh, the players are students first, so we're going to make sure that they're doing well in class. Also, they got to come every day with a realness effort. Uh, they got to have a tremendous focus, and then they got to uh, love the guy next to them, have uh, great teamwork. Yes, sir. So what else do you coach? Do you teach here as well? Uh, I teach world geography, um, and I'm also the new head powerlifting coach. Uh, what advice can you tell your students and other teachers? You know, just uh, make sure you come every day uh, ready to work. Don't uh, you never get behind just because of the lack of effort and uh, bring your, your best foot forward. How important is it for students and teachers to come out and support our football team? I think it's tremendous. You know, these guys work really hard along with, uh, you know, the drill team, cheerleaders, band. Uh, it's a great atmosphere at uh, Moorhead on Friday nights, and uh, we do a good job traveling uh, to away games, and it's, it helps out so much uh, with football, and it just helps with school spirit across the board. Yes, sir. Thanks for being here, Coach. All right. Thanks for having me, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, now we will go to our weather team for today's weather. Thanks, guys. I'm Josue, your weather anchor for today. As of right now, we will be starting the day off with a 91 degrees at 12 p.m. And gradually throughout the day, the temperature will start to rise to a high being 94 degrees and then going back down to a low 74 degrees. Now for today, it looks like we will be having 0% chance of rain today, but we can't say the same for the rest of the week. 
In other news, we will be getting hit by a cold front this week. Not enough to start wearing your coats, but enough to get us off this Houston weather. As for the pollen information, we will be receiving a medium high amount due to the drier air, so keep that in mind. Now to wrap things up for our fact of the day. Banks have therapists known as wealth psychologists to help ultra rich clients who are unable to mentally cope their immense wealth, those jerks. I'm Josue, back to you guys at the studio. Thanks so much for that weather report. We're going to take another quick break. feel stressed, anxious, or depressed, don't be afraid to seek help. Whether it be a friend, family, or a counselor, there's always someone. Hamilton was adopted from a rescue in 2008. He really likes to be around people. And as soon as I start to make my breakfast, Hamilton is right there. I get out my mat and I'm doing a downward dog and he's underneath. He's quite the pug about town. He gets invited to a lot of parties. He knows he's a pretty big deal. I mean, look at this little face. I do not love him. On today's review, Enrique tells us his feelings about the new Predator movie. Hello everybody, my name is Less Than Average Andy, and today I am here to... I, I, what am I going to do? Why don't you just talk about the movies that are out right now? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I forgot we were doing that. Anyways, okay. So, um... Oh yeah, The Predator. So, The Predator. It's a movie. Yeah, that's about it. A Predator sequel that isn't as good as the original. Who could have seen that coming? Yeah, uh, so you got a ragtag team of misfits or whatever being brought together somehow to fight a mega super duper Predator. Yay. If you want action, then I guess you get action. You want tension? Too bad. You want jokes? You get jokes. Lots and lots of jokes. You want obnoxious references to the original? Well, wouldn't you know it, you get just that. But Andy, what about plot and structure? Yeah, what about plot and structure? Is it good? No, it's actually kind of dumb. Nah, it's really dumb. But what do you expect from a movie that's had production issues like rewrites, reshoots, and scenes being cut left and right? Cough, Suicide Squad! <clears throat> well, I guess it's better than your average DC flick. Not counting Wonder Woman. And Aquaman. And here I thought you couldn't make jokes. Well, that's about it, really. The only real reason to watch this film is because it's the last Predator movie we'll ever see since Disney owns Fox. Well, not exactly yet anyway, so, I mean, I guess there's that. But, you know, movies will start looking a lot more of the same in about a year or so. So, yeah. Enjoy it while it lasts. Anyways, I am less than average Andy, and I just remembered that Dora the Explorer is getting a movie, so... Have a great rest of the day. Thanks again, Enrique. We're going to take another quick break.
Are you having trouble in school? Are your grades going down? If so, you can always stay after school and ask the teacher for some help. Tutorials is always available after school. Just ask for your teacher's availability. We want to finish up our newscast today with a few announcements. Homecoming week is coming up next week. So here are the address days. Monday will be PJ Day, Tuesday will be Twin Day, Wednesday will be Class Color War, freshmen wear green, sophomores wear blue, juniors will be in orange, and seniors are pink. Thursday will be Home Away From Home, so come dress like a tourist, and last but not least is Friday, rock your Conroe colors, mums and garters, but don't forget, you have to be in dress code. The Conroe High School Skills USA 3, 3D Visualization and Animation Chapter uh, 3115 will be holding their first meeting tomorrow in room 512 from 3 to 330. Physics Club will be meeting today after school in room 218. We meet from 245 until 345, so go join the fun. Interact meeting will be in the cafeteria Wednesday, September 26th. Chess Club will be meeting tomorrow and after school in room 163. Spanish Club last day to pay membership dues is September 24th. Thanks so much again for watching. Make sure to follow us at KTIG News on all social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel. As always, CHS, start strong, finish strong. Make sure to tune in for tomorrow for more KTIG News.